Penelope. <laughs> Penelope Bourbon has released the Architect series, named in honor of the art of whiskey blending. This new release combines the brand's signature four grain mash bill with two styles of French oak staves. I've heard some mixed reviews on this one, but mostly positive. Let's do a quick review here on the mash and drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master Drum. Today we're reviewing the newest series release from Penelope Bourbon, the Architect series, working in collaboration with Tonnellerie Radu of France. Holy hell, I need to take a French class. Je, je, ma, ma, pelle, pelle, je m'appelle, mes poupou. A market leader in oak barrel manufacturing, Penelope Bourbon selected each stave using its oak scan process. What the hell is that? We will explain. In the meantime, I'm gonna pour this. Check out a closer look. All right, so what the hell is oak scan? Oak scan is a rapid analysis, essentially. They do it stave by stave, and it's based on near infrared spectrometry. Uh, each stave entering into production is scanned and marked with a letter. This letter indicates which category of tannic potential it belongs to. This is meant to help coopers sort the staves more easily and make barrels with specific polyphenolic indexes, which directly impacts the influence that the wood has on the whiskey's flavor. It's a lot of science right there. Where's my lab coat? As we all know, Penelope has been bringing out some fantastic whiskeys for the last few years. In 2018, co-founder Mike Palladini and his wife Carrie found out they were expecting a baby girl who they named Penelope. Uh, he teamed up with his close childhood friend and neighbor, Danny Polisi, and set out to discover and produce a straight bourbon whiskey everyone could appreciate and enjoy. And then Penelope was born. Since then, we have seen their straight bourbon whiskey, barrel strength bourbons, rosé finished bourbon, American light whiskey, single barrels, and toasted single barrels, which have gotten a lot of attention from whiskey geeks alike. Now we have this Architect series, which is sure to bring some interesting finishes our way, but the first one in the series is a French oak finish. So what's in the bottle this is a sourced MGP, aged four to five years. This Penelope Bourbon Architect series is bottled at 104 proof with a suggested retail price of 60 bucks. All right, so real quick, uh, Penelope did provide this bottle to me uh, just to be transparent. Um, but as usual, I'll give you guys a you know honest review either way. So let's go to the nose here. Man, the note is exceptionally sweet. Powdered sugar, candy corn, hint of apple as well. Now apple to me brings out a more of a youthful characteristic. So if I'm smelling apple, you know, Eight times out of ten, I'm guessing that that's going to be a pretty young whiskey. And this is, we know it's only about 45 years old. I feel like I do get the French oak influence, but it's coming in the form of like those dark fruit notes. But French oak overall, whether it gives you uh, some dark fruit notes or maybe some chocolatey notes, either way, French oak, the makeup of it is really what, what the best thing it does is it gives a whiskey more texture, makes it a little bit more creamy. But a lot of vanilla here, like, like I said, a little bit grain forward. It is a young whiskey, but let's give it a go. So I, oh, okay. So the, oh, all right. I see, I see what's going on here. So the front of the palate to me is a little bit youthful. You get kind of a candy corn, very vanilla. And you get that rice spice on there. You remember this is a four grain. So, I do love the rye spice, especially on the finish, but man, the finish on this is magical. It's creamy, it's spicy, it lingers on for a very, very long time. But man, it's like a tale of two different whiskeys here so far. 
The second sip gave me more rye spice, more rye, more cinnamon, more black pepper. The French oak can definitely bring some spice too, which is what I love. And I'm definitely thinking that it's, it's affecting the palate from front to back here. Is it enough to kind of cover up those youthful notes? Again, I think it really depends on your palate, but for me, I think the spice and that that little punch of was a dark fruit. I think I, I feel like I'm getting like a like a raspberry note on the very very back end of this. Maybe a hint of chocolate. It's very faint. It's not super you know strong. Remember, it is a young whiskey. Yeah, this is a really nice sipper. It's got this sneaky finish that comes back. Uh, it comes right back to, to kind of let you know that, hey, my, you know, this, I haven't left yet. <laughs> um, it's got this sneaky finish that kind of, the finish essentially goes away a little bit and you get like that punch of like a dark fruit characteristic. And then, and then it just comes a little, it just comes creeping back and just lingers. You guys know I love a lingering finish and this one is definitely bringing all of that. But man, the spice driven notes in here herbal qualities, the rye spice, a hint of like candied mint as well, orange, that little punch of dark fruit in the back end with a little hint of milk chocolate, and then this rounding out, just nice finish on the back end. This is a really nice whiskey. Um, I do think maybe for some folks it could come off a little bit youthful, uh, and it is. It's only a four to five year old whiskey. Like I said, up front, nice sweet notes with some spice. Some vanilla cream, a little bit of orange, some herbal qualities to it from the rye. And then as it works its way back, a little punch of dark fruit. And that French oak quality just comes really, really strong in the back end. And then it just kind of lingers there. I'm digging this one. This whiskey for me, it's all about the finish on this one. I would like more up front. I would like a little bit more of a punch up front. But as far as the finish, the finish and the flavors you get more than make up for it. For 60 bucks, I think some French oak you know, whiskeys that are out there can definitely hit at a higher price point. I think what Penelope does, which is really great, is they, they do price their whiskeys fairly. Uh, it's always at a good price point. And for a French oak release, even though it's on the younger side, I think they got another home run here. I think, um, I think a lot of folks will really enjoy this one. We'll see what other architect finishes they come out with. I know that they're working on some crazy stuff, but as far as this one goes, if you're put off a little bit by some youthful notes, maybe a try before you buy on this one. But if you just like a sweet balanced bourbon, some French oak and a good amount of spice and a nice finish, this one is definitely worth a pickup. All right guys, I well, hope you enjoy this review for the new Penelope Architect series. This is the French Oak, the first one in the series. We'll see what comes next. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Uh, if you've had it yet, I've, I've seen a bunch of reviews so far. I saw a lot of people that posted when they got this one. So I'm sure there are a lot of varying opinions out there. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers. See you next time right here on the Master and Drum. Take care everybody.